And he went his way and communed with the chief priests. Mark went to the chief priests to betray him. Matthew went to the chief priests and said to them, What will you give me that I will deliver him to you? Okay, so that is not in Mark. His words are not in Mark. Just a summary of what went on. Neither is it in Luke. Just as communed how he might, and they covenanted. Yes, so only Matthew has the actual words from Judas. All three of them have went to the chief priests. Mark went to the chief priests. Luke, and he went his way and communed with the chief priests. So I think I can have communed and said to them, went his way and communed with the chief priests and said I could have communed with the chief priests and said also Luke doesn't have the word betray oh it does it happens later in Luke how he might betray him to them okay so I'm going to have, and he went his way. Went is all three. And communed with, now all three, the chief priests and captains in Luke. Mark says chief priests to betray him. how he might betray him to them. Mark. To betray him to them. So I think we'd have how he might asking the question, what will you to give me? And I would learn because his betrayal doesn't actually occur until he actually goes from the Last Supper to the Romans or the chief priests and says he's in the garden of Gethsemane and then they get him that's the real betrayal that's the act of betraying the plan to betray him you could say yes that's that's the betrayal as well but um, that's more like the conspiracy to betray so the reason why I'm thinking about that is because in Mark it says he went to the chief priest to betray him but that's not where he actually betrayed him it's better in Luke went to the chief priest's captains how he might in the future, betray him. So how he might, I'm going to use instead of two. So I'm just choosing how he might instead of two from Luke over Mark. How he might. Betray him to them. Mark has betray him to them the same and Matthew doesn't have it. It has his words. And he said to them, What will you give me, and I will deliver him to you? And they covenanted with him for thirty pieces of silver. Okay, so that statement and then their agreement. And they were glad and their agreement. So Matthew first... And said to them, What will you give me, and I will deliver him to you? When they heard it, they were glad. And they were glad. Okay, so when they heard it, that's Mark only. They were glad. Luke, and they were glad. Matthew, and they covenanted. So this and is actually both Mark and Luke. No, 
now again both Mark and Luke they were glad Mark continues and promised to give him money Luke and covenanted to give him money Matthew and they covenanted with him I already have they twice So I'm going to say this they is all three, and covenanted. This and is all three. I should go with covenanted because a covenant is more than just a promise. A promise is what you will do. But a covenant is with conditions. I will do my part if you do your part. It's more like a contract. And Covenant is a majority witness, Matthew and Luke, so I'll go with that. Matthew, with him, four thirty pieces of silver. Mark, to give him money. Luke, to give him money. With him. I could have with him to give him 30 pieces of silver, or I could just have with him for 30 pieces of silver. Or I could have to him, and covenanted to give him 30 pieces of silver. Now I think that because this is a covenant, his part needs to be done and their part needs to be done. It wouldn't make as much sense to go with just to give him money. The way Matthew has it is the most clear. With him, and the exchange would be 30 pieces of silver. So I'm just going to go with Matthew. With. Him is all three. Just Matthew. Four 30 pieces of silver. 